Bohemia starts with this unique commentary form. Why is it cool? Not only because it has very good bonuses as you can see, but mostly because it's the best garment in the game for making a lot of PUs. Oh, there is also similar garment reform for plebs, for not Bohemia, but Bohemia elective monarchy is a lot better. For example, because it doesn't reduce absolutism and doesn't give a lot of influence to states. Anyway, I'll show you why it's the best for PUs later. Right now you need to grant some privileges. Mana privileges, enforced unity of faith, religious diplomats, clerical education, as for nobility grant, nobility officer rights, nobility integration policy and strong duchess and Grand Patronage of the Arts. Seize land, and now let's choose some rivals. Always rival Poland, Hungary, and if Austria is your rival, you can rival Austria. If it's relatively friendly, rival someone else, not Austria. If Austria starts friendly, rival married and try to ally it. Would be perfect if you could already ally it, let's see. I can't, but soon I will be able to. Let's see our advisors to match reputation. If you have one and want to ally someone, grab it. And let's insult someone, like Poland for example. Yes, of course Poland loves us, but you shouldn't care about it to be honest. It's not a really good ally. Anyway, let's insult and I can ally Austria. If Austria doesn't rival you, it's usually quite easy to ally it. Unfortunately, I was interrupted by this event. So in this event, I prefer to take second option for missionary strength. Bohemia starts with half of its provinces of indifferent religion, Hasid. So you can of course either just increase your tolerance, but usually it's better to just convert them using missionary strength. That's why I chose this privilege, enforced unity of faith. So let's choose the second option, we still can convert Prague of course, but don't worry, it's possible if you get missionary strength advisor. Also to start converting you need one stability. Remember, if you're not playing high side, it's better to convert Prague as soon as possible. I think I should be able to lay Austria. Yes I am, and it's important to rival Hungary, because if you do it and you lay Austria, the chance of it allying Hungary is smaller. Also I would recommend to play relations with Ottomans and with friends. Also I would recommend to ally electors except Brandenburg and Saxony, so like for example Köln, maybe Palatinate, maybe Mainz. If you don't ask you this, ignore them. I was just going to build Spanish on Hungary and fabricate claim on one province. And here it is, this is why Bohemia is the ultimate PU master. Second option will always introduce foreign kin. What does it mean? It means if you royal married other nation, for example like Hungary, I don't know, or Poland, and you choose the second option, you would be able to claim throne and make PU. Well, here in this case our king is already Habsburg, so we have no need of the second option, but if it would have been like Hungary or Poland, I would be able to claim their PU. So after you lay some electors and you finally get king, you can finish this mission. Obviously finish it and you can improve relations with your allies to increase your chances of being elected. And obviously cast vote for yourself. As you can see, you already can be elected, very easy. You just need to wait until Austrian Emperor dies. Okay, let's fabricate claim on Hungary, just one province. Why should we fabricate claim? Well, it's because to get claims on Slovakia, as you can see, you need to complete this mission. And to complete this mission, you need to wait at least until 1454, which is not the best decision. Now we can just wait until our truce ends and to come on Hungary. Well, like I said, if you let Austria and rival Hungary, they shouldn't ally each other, but there is always a chance, of course. If it does happen, you can always break an with Austria and ally either Ottomans or France to help you. So, one stability. Missionary Strength Advisor, Missionary Strength Decision in the event, and this privilege, and you can finally convert Prague. It's very important for Imperial Authority. And here it is, the Hussite event. So, you can either choose the first option and convert to Hussite, or you can choose the second option. In theory, you can also choose the third option, but well, it's not really good. So, what I will do now is I will save and show you the both options. So, first option, converting to Hussite. If you convert to Hussite, well, good luck, you need to convert your nation. But on the bright side, Hussite abilities are not that bad actually. They are definitely better than Protestant. Yes, it does have good bonuses, but unfortunately, it means that you won't be able to become a tree emperor. And it will make diplomacy much more difficult. It's not bad religion, but I think Catholic Bohemia is much easier. Also, I need to mention that if you convert, you will be able to spawn religious center and convert whole HRE. But still, it doesn't mean you will be able to become emperor. If you choose the second option, you will lose your papal influence, and as you can see, we'll get some interesting modifiers. But only if you have Yiji as your kin. If you elect Yiji, we will have more compatibility but less magic reputation. And we can forget about papacy. But we can choose someone else. Well, Yiji is not that bad ruler. If you have the magic reputation advisor, then his debuffs won't be even noticeable. Now you'll be able to finish this mission, not real big rewards, but anyway. By the way, by some miracle, I can ally friends. 
I guess it's because it doesn't rival Austria. If you can, do it, of course do it. If it does rival Austria, you can wait until you can break lines with Austria. You will do it anyway. Also, when he has third diplomat, I would recommend to start improving relations with their vessels. You will need to annex them soon. And also, by the way, if you want to acquire Prague faster, you can grant this edict, enforce religious unity. Also, check out Hungary. If you need some kind of support, you can start carrying favors with your allies. They might support you. Well, that's quite interesting turn of events. It's quite rare that Austrian Emperor dies that early, so I would just say scum. Well, of course, if he dies that early, you may consider yourself lucky. So, this is a new event for Hungary, and always take this advisor, it's very, very good. Here we go, time for the first war. So, how to win? So, let's see, what do they have? A lot of troops actually, but if we call in our allies, this definitely should be enough. If Austria light Hungary, break your alliance, and allay Ottomans and maybe friends. It should be enough to beat Hungary. Anyway, you can just try to ally someone. Also, to increase your chances, you can either hire free company or some company with good general, like this one. It's very good. I think I'll hire those two companies. One for siege, one for combat. And of course, I will take burger loans. So now that I hired two mercenary companies and I can win some allies, it should be quite easy to win. Don't forget that if you have taken Yiji, you have some military bonuses and you can also take Mill Advisor, like this one, for morale of armies. So I suggest you first without Hungarian allies and then Hungary itself. Well, as you can see, I just destroyed Teutonic Order, cause I have good general and I have some military bonuses. Yeah, it should be quite easy if you're prepared. Also, I have fourth military technology and Hungary has third one. That means that I have a very big advantage. Don't forget about military technology. Better military technology is extremely big advantage early game. Well, that's what I'm talking about. It's extremely big advantage. And also that's because I have a good general. Good general is also very good. So from Hungary you don't need much, you just need to take Slovakia. Of course you may also take some money if you can. I will, why not? Also, don't forget you have gold mine. So, encourage development and you can develop it. And by the way, you also develop this province for this mission. It is quite cool and I recommend to do it. Ok, 11th November, time to annex your vessels. You need to do it for your missions. And preferably do it as soon as possible. And also quite important thing, don't develop Prague until you convert it. So here we go, after you annex your vessels, you can finish this mission for improved relations, but that's not the most important thing. Yes, you conquer Slovakia before you could commit this mission, so you wasted your claims. But, well, it's better to conquer Slovakia early. And you can complete these two missions. They're quite cool. But first, I wanted to clarify something. So Hungary at the start gets this air. If he gets to age 15, that means Hungary may become PU of Austria. It's quite random. So how to avoid this? Well, first you can just save scum. It's possible. In this case, Hungary decided to remain independent. Also, you can declare on Austria and try to steal Hungary from them. As you can see, even if I just call in France, it should be possible. Also, you can ally Ottomans and together with France and Ottomans, it would be very easy. Also, by the way, you could PU Austria itself and then you'll get two PUs at once. It might work using elective monarchy mechanics, just wait until Austrian ruler dies and claim throne. Well, anyway, now you should be able to complete these missions. But before completing them, think if you can PU Hungary or Poland. Let's see. Well, I obviously can't PU Hungary, but Poland it might be possible. By the way, I guess literally the worst scenario happened and Lithuania is not PU of Poland. If Lithuania is PU of Poland, you will get both Poland and Lithuania. But I have truth with Hungary, so that means I won't complete Hungarian mission. I will just complete this one, Polish diplomacy. It seems I almost can ally Ottomans and that's very very good. Well, that's quite surprising, but it's possible, yes. Let's try, let's first try to ally Ottomans and then to climb Poland. Anyway, you should be able to ally Ottomans after you break alliance with Austria. Well, okay. Just like a plant, it seems it's impossible to ally Ottomans before ditching Austria. Well, not a big deal, I tried. Anyway, let's then declare on Poland. Ok, let's declare. Together with Austria, it shouldn't be that difficult. And yes, I do have Miltech advantage, that's quite important. Although the war wasn't difficult, remember, it might be actually, it might be difficult. Well, if it is difficult, you can always ally some other nations, like I don't know, Teutonic Order, maybe Ottomans. If the war is difficult, just have more allies. Usually it's possible to win just with Austria. Anyway, now that you have the PU with Poland, you are one of the strongest nations in the Holy Tree. Here we go, you are a great power and technically you can finish this mission, but I would advise to wait for a little. Although you can finish this mission. Permanent claims are always good. To make Poland loyal. Improve relations, maybe enable support loyalists and maybe develop it. And yes, if Poland had Lithuania under its PU, you would be able to PU both of them at the same time. Even if it didn't, it's possible to PU Lithuania through elections. So don't worry. Now what should you do? Now you should wait until your truce with Hungary ends. And don't forget to check electors. They should always love you. If they don't, that's bad. And if your ruler dies and Poland has negative opinion of you, well, that's quite bad, you will lose Poland, so be careful in relations. 
Before this you shouldn't have run into any coalition problems, but now you might. So complete this mission, conquer Nitra and of course restoration of union. So it seems I can't call in anyone, not a big deal, we can do it even ourselves. Hungary is quite weak right now. So now let's take a look at what coalition would there be after we do this. So how to deal with this? Either fight before declaring on Hungary after Poland or well, just improve relations. By the way, I can call in Austria now. Don't know why, but why not? If Hungary has some strong allies, as usual, you can just call in your allies. Usually Hungary doesn't. Usually your main concern about Hungary is that Austria may PU it. As your first idea group, take either influence or diplomatic. Well, I think for the first idea group, diplomatic would be better, but I think influence would be worth it anyways in the future. And here we finally go. Yes, now we are the emperor. It was very, very easy. I didn't even align most of these electors, just one of them actually. But yeah, of course, alliance will help you. What else would help you? Prestige, legitimacy and good relations. And of course, bench reputation. So now that we are the emperor, it would be really difficult to kick us out. Of course, emperor does get a lot of benefit, just look at our force limit. Anyway, anyway, now that you are emperor, you even have chance to get burgundy. If you ally it, then this chance will be quite big. So let's saw out Hungary, I guess. Coalition would be non-existent, that's why improving relations is good. But if you don't want improving relations, you can just wait. It's not that urgent to conquer Hungary. I recommend to do it just because, well, Austria can do it too. Better to be first. Yes, the same as with Poland and Lithuania, you get two personal unions at the same time. Croatia and Hungary. So I recommend to grant strong duchies once again. And now as you can see everything is fine with the point relations. So now you should be able to complete this mission, which is very cool, it will give you claims on Austria proper, on this state basically. By the way, I almost forgot, after Austrian ruler dies, you can do this. Claim throne. And now ladies and gentlemen, we can PU Austria. But of course there is one catch. If Austria gets an heir, you won't be able to PU it. So basically it relies on RNG a little. While we have the magic of safe coming, I hope it will help me. And Hungary inherited Croatia, which is very very cool. Last the point relations. And don't forget to complete this mission, for the point reputation. Also in theory you could try to lay Burgundy. Well, in this case I can't, I think France is better ally, but... But if you do, there is a very big chance that it will go to you in Burgundy succession. And by the way, even before you become Emperor, you can ally it and royal marry it. There is a chance that it will go to you. Well, first way to get Imperial authority in the game is by converting Prague. Well, this was quite unlucky run in this regard. I've got negative event at the start, which prevented me from converting it, but yeah. If you convert it, you get plus 10 Imperial authority, which is not bad. Yeah, double the Imperial authority. Well, here we go. It took some saves coming, but I just wanted to demonstrate that it's possible. Well, by the way, not much of saves coming, and just twice. By the way, I don't know why friends is so useless here. Usually it isn't, usually it's quite helpful. Well, to be honest, I'm not even sure if I should take claim on throne or not. Well, I would be able to use the coalition, but most new players won't. What I wanted to show that it's possible to be you anyone. Austria, France, Castile anyone, literally anyone. By the way, claim on throne actually might be good later, not right now, but a little bit later. Why? Well, if you conquer four provinces and Vienna, you would be able to form Austria, get its mission tree and its ideas, which are, well, better than behemoth ones. So maybe let's try. Yes, there will be a very, very ugly coalition. Well, just like I said, well, then I won't pick out. Let's start improving. It's quite possible to improve relations with this nation because Emperor can do this action, it can help you very much. Bestow Imperial Grace. It will improve relations by 50 with this nation, but it will take one Imperial authority. Again, it's not really necessary to PU Austria or PU it that early, I just wanted to prove my point, let's say. As third reform, choose this one. Believe me, it will really help you. Well, quite unfortunate. Yes, it is quite random. In my previous tries, I could ally Ottomans. Well, in this one not, but in previous, I could. So I can write this out, as you can see, coalition. Well, it won't inform, no, it won't. Pillage improve relations a little bit more. And now that's fine, only three nations, and we can peace out. Well, why did I do it? I've done it well, because I wasn't sure if I would get the same ability later in the game. So, I peeled Austria. By the way, there is no mission for PU in Austria, it was done without it, without missions, just like this, just because of our government. Actually, actually, Austria may be not your first choice. You can also subjugate Brandenburg, but it will also cost a lot of aggressive expansion. I would recommend to wait until, I think, well, around this time, 1480s, 1485, around this time, so we can declare on either Brandenburg or Austria. Like I said, you may not even subjugate it, you can just conquer the state, maybe one more province to be able to form Austria, it's up to you. Anyway, I will just pay some money and Austria is mostly loyal. Burgundy inheritance still hasn't fired for some reason, so why not real merit and ally it? Well, here we go, Burgundian inheritance, and yes, we got Burgundy. 
It's not really that difficult, you might even get pregnant accidentally. Well, if it has friends, and usually it does. So let's abdicate the ruler, I guess. And here we go first, then Imperial Authority. And second, we get even more Imperial Authority, because our heir has died. And if I could secure a real marriage with Thuringia, and they didn't have an heir, I will be able to be you it. Just want to remind you that it works with any of your neighbors. So, for example, if I inherit a Burgundy, I would be able to claim throne of France. A second idea, you might take either religious ideas or something military, like for example offensive. Anyway, either before Austria or after Austria and when you show that you don't have too many aggressive expansion, you can complete this mission. Don't worry, if you've taken Hungary from Austria, it will always be available. You can declare on Brandenburg. As usual, take it only if you're sure that you'll be able to declare if Brandenburg isn't allied to anyone's throne. Brandenburg is a very interesting case. If it's in one piece, like here, if it's not split up, if it's not conquered, it would be extremely painful to take it. It is. So, just in push relations, and you might even need to use this button. One Imperial Authority for 50 relations. Don't rush, you don't need to win this war quickly, just let improve relations. By the way, yes, massive coalition will be either way, even if you didn't view Austria. 80 aggressive expansion in the HRE is quite a lot. Okay, let's pass out, most of these nations are at war against me, so we will have truce. Here we go, subjugated Brandenburg. Now you should be able to complete this mission, which lets you choose the fate of Brandenburg. Of course, choose the third option. And now you have your puppet at elections. You will be almost always elected by Brandenburg. You can do literally the same with Saxony. Again, just wait for aggressive expansion to cool down. After this, do whatever you want. You may even be your friends, Castile, doesn't matter. England. It's quite RNG what dynasty you will get, so you may just ease come if you want to. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Hope everything was clear. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.